What is going on, guys? This is your brother from Better Side Me, Red School Boy, and sorry if I'm being quiet. Is it is actually what time is it? Six o'clock in the morning. So I kind of pulled an all-nighter. I was watching the um, what was it? The uh, Crown Invitational CWL stream. And I have to say it was a pretty enjoyable uh, match to watch. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fun to watch. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how I 6 owed somebody in GBs. Now, unfortunately, because of the fact that this is UMG, aka un unorganized management gaming, this guy disputed. And if you guys checked my... Uh, channel earlier today you would have seen a video called UMG's Dispute all caps and that was because on UMG if you don't know this already you uh, have to what is it, post information about how your side of the dispute is correct and how their side of the dispute is incorrect and I have to say that my accuracy and shot were on the day except for the uh, final kill you'll see how awful that was here in a second I apologize for my accuracy right here. This was actually my first game of the day. So yeah, you, c you can understand how that was not exactly my best shot. But anyways, this guy was ranked top, I think, 60k, which is not bad, but it's not good. It's like, it's like a slightly above average UMG, UMG's player, so it's somebody who would probably have a 1.6 KD in pubs. But other than that, they do, don't really have a good idea of what they're doing. They know what they're doing, but not to an extent where they could beat a good player. But, just understand that I'm not calling myself good, and no way am I like any good at Call of Duty, but this, this was just being able to predict them because they played a little bit like me. And if you're wondering why he started out going through mid, it's because he had an SVG, and the match wasn't SVG only. But yeah, there are going to be some points in the match where I point out things that I could have done better, and things that went wrong for either him or me, and where it was basically just good timing. Alright, sick game. But, score streaks were banned if you don't know how UMG works. Again, it's basically just, before the match even starts, there are set rules, and you can adjust some of those rules, such as what the uh, game mode will be played, how many, like, what, this, if it becomes a series, or if it's just uh, one and done, which is basically just one game of search, or one game of really any game mode and then you win the entire series but I chose to set this oh wait no it was actually their match wait did I post yeah I did post it this is also my host too so I'm not gonna lie I probably beat this kid only because I was on my host and I don't know how I didn't kill him with five bullets on my screen there I mean on my screen I shot him with five bullets but I don't know I'm probably going to make a Black Ops 3 rant video in the near future simply because this game has pissed me off so much over the past few months. And before this video comes to a conclusion, I'm, I'm just going to uh, not forget it. I understand that I complain, but understand right now that I only do it because what I'm saying is absolutely the fucking truth. I'm not saying it because I hate Call of Duty in general. I'm not saying it because I dislike every Call of Duty game and just the Call of Duty series in general. I'm saying it because David Von der Har You know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to get into that. I'll save it for another video. But yeah, I also um, jump across there and then I peek towards mid. Simply because... Here, actually, I'll rewind it for you. Hang on a second. When I jump across right here, I peek across mid, simply because right here, if you were to snipe me, or at least peek from right here, which he was close to, if you were to peek right here, he would have easily seen me and would have immediately rotated to A. 
most likely through barn and then head glitched either right here or on the bomb. But yeah, that's why I uh, pre-aimed that because I didn't know if you could have like jumped up after I peeked away and saw me, seen me. Sorry. Like I said, it's six in the morning, so I apologize for my lack of grammar or proper English. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna have to get something out of this video. But We're in the last seconds. anyways, here's one of the points in the entire match where it. I don't know. Here, okay, I'll just I'll just pause it for you right here because I think it was right about now. Look at that. He peeks it perfectly so that he doesn't see me. The, that was probably the luckiest play of my life. Because otherwise this wouldn't have been a 6-0 and I couldn't upload it to YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is only my third singles match. I don't exactly play UMGs that much. I'm more trying to stay in pubs and try and get gameplays, but unfortunately... I'll cover why I can't exactly do that in the rant video. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with double. But yeah, I did see him right there. If you, if you didn't catch it, hang on a second. I'll show you in a second. Just skip ahead a little bit. Right there. He jumped out of, uh, what was it? Second broken. And he was, in all honesty, this was a smart play because I might have rotated through barn and just simply sat here and repeatedly, um, uh, like peep back. I might have been on a rotation actually, because this is a rotation that is common if you're playing singles. So just keep this in mind. Well, not that common, but people will still do it. You'll go, th you'll plan it. You'll go through barn. You'll check B steps after you check your side mid. Just completely ignore the spawn. Then you check right here. Then you go back into barn. Because then basically, unless they've hopped the bomb immediately, you've won the round. Ba well, not won the round, but um, wasted probably 10 seconds of time. But yeah, this guy didn't go for the defuse. Trigger finger. Nice work, Black Ops. Get ready for the next round. In all honesty, I can't fault this guy though because he did play pretty well. He almost outgunned me a few. T Gee, thanks, David. He almost outgunned me a few times. I'm not going to lie. It was this map was pretty intense. I mean, I'm a, not intense and in like, oh no, I gotta come down in the clutch or uh, live up to the clutch. But more intense is in, I gotta get the 6-0 because otherwise it's not going to look very good in the video. I haven't gotten a 6-0 before. I've gotten a 6-2. No, not 6-2, 6-3. Apologies for my accuracy right here. And I missed the heat wave. I was just a tick awful. But yeah, I'll be uploading more singles and probably doubles, maybe even fours. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and uh, catch you guys later. Peace. Oh yeah, before I go, um, there was also this one thing that I wanted to mention. I know that I covered this in another video, but if you're a subscriber and you want to play, just message me on PlayStation or whatever. I mean, seriously, you, you know my gamer tag. If, if you don't, then it's right there. But... Yeah, if you want to just play together sometime, if you need any tips, you can just message me and I'll go ahead and communicate. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll, I'll make sure to end this time. Peace.